If you're still using scrollable modals in your designs, pay attention because you gotta stop. Scrollable modals often lead to a poor user experience, leaving your users frustrated and incapable of completing their tasks effectively. So we're going to take a look at some bad examples of scrollable modals, and then we're going to talk about how to address each one and make better design decisions so we can avoid using scrollable modals entirely. Let's go. Example one of why scrollable modals cause a problematic user experience is because you have multiple scroll areas that conflict with each other. Let's say that we've got this form and we got to fill out part of that form. We click on part of the form to acquire more information about a piece of it and a modal pops up. Within this modal, you can scroll, but what happens if I accidentally scroll outside of the modals area and scroll the form instead? I've now lost my place that I was in before I opened the modal, and I'm gonna be confused when I close that modal again and might not know where I am anymore. Pretty frustrating, right? So let's look at a different design choice that I can make here to avoid using the scroll modal. In the same example of the form, let's say there's more information that I need to present to my user. Instead, I can use an on hover interaction with the element that I need to give more information about. And I can use a tool tip to show my user the most important pieces of that information. If there really is more information than is going to fit in the modal, then I can give my user the option of opening a new tab to read more about this certain piece of info. That puts the power back in the user's hands and they can choose choose whether or not they want to change to the other tab to read more about this piece of information. This kind of interaction is much better. And instead of two conflicting scroll areas, I can choose whether or not to hover my mouse over that piece of information or whether or not to read more information in a separate tab. We're giving control back to the user. And that's a really good user experience choice. Example two of why scrollable modals can be problematic is because they can conceal important information. Modals already cover up part of the screen, but if you're putting that much information inside of a modal to the point where it needs to be scrolled in order for the user to see all the information, chances are you're gonna be taking up so much of the screen that the user's not really going to functionally be able to read anything underneath the modal. And that can be problematic for a couple of different reasons. Let's take a look at a specific example of why that can cause some problems. So let's say I'm looking at this pricing page and I wanna compare different types of plans before making a selection of one. If I click on learn more here for the free plan and that opens up a modal that covers most of the screen here, right? There's quite a lot of information within the free plan, all the different features that it offers. First of all, I have to scroll down this modal to read all the information, which means I'm likely going to forget what's at the top of the modal. And second of all, I can't see anything underneath the modal. Research actually tells us that 45% of users forget the information they were looking at before they opened a modal. And so now I don't even remember what the other plans were. It's also gonna add a bunch of extra clicks. I have to exit the modal and then open another one to see what the professional plan and the business plan offers. So this is just an inefficient UI pattern and offers a really subpar user experience. So let's take a look at a better solution for a page like this. It's actually perfectly fine to just have the user scroll down the page and compare what all the different plans have to offer. HubSpot, a very popular SaaS platform, actually does a really good job of this. So let's just take a look at how they display their pricing page. We can see here that if we compare the professional and the enterprise marketing hub plans, the page scrolls on for ages. There are a lot of different features to cover, but that's okay because as the user, my whole goal here for this page is to compare these two plans to each other so I can make a choice of which one is the best for my needs. I can see here all of these different features, how they correlate to the professional plan and to the enterprise plan, which plan includes which feature. This is just a much more effective UI pattern. It doesn't cover up any part of the screen. It doesn't remove me from important information. It doesn't hide any information from me. So this is a much better road to go down if we want to give users the ability to compare different things to each other and to make sure that we're not covering up any key information that our users need to make a good decision. A third example of why scroller modals are not the best idea for good user experience is because they force a ton of information on the user all at once. Scrolling down the modal also makes it so that users have to try to remember a lot of information. Research tells us that people can only keep about seven single items in their working memory. So to whatever extent possible as designers, we should prevent users from having to remember a ton of stuff, rather give them the ability to remind themselves of information that they were previously looking at. And we'll look at a live example of what I mean by that. So in the example here, let's say we're on the integrations page and we want to connect github i'm going to press the connect button and the modal pops up now i can see that i need to follow a couple of different steps in order to effectively connect github but i have to scroll down this modal in order to complete all the steps if i make some kind of mistake or i'm not quite sure what i filled in for step one or two it's going to be really annoying for me if i'm already on step five i have to scroll all the way back up i lose context of what step five was i don't really remember what i even put in for step one you can see how this can get pretty frustrating let's look at a much better ui pattern to use in 
in this example. I'm still gonna modal that pops up, but now I can see the steps outlined very clearly across the top. You could even add little subtitles to each of these numbers just to give the user a hint about what that step was about. And if I need to go back for any reason, I can just click on the number one to go back to step one and then jump around the different steps as needed. It's gonna prevent them from having to remember a ton of information. And ultimately it's gonna to lead to a lot less frustration and much less user error. Moving on to the last reason scrollable modals aren't good UX, that's because users might not even realize that a modal is scrollable. And that can be really problematic if we're presenting important or critical information even that isn't immediately in the viewport. Let's use another live example. Let's say that I want to buy some furniture, but for some reason, the company is having some shipping problems. If I click buy now, let's say that the company has decided to use a scrollable modal here to explain to me that there are some shipping problems and shipping might be delayed. There is some critical information below this immediate viewport area. And if I don't realize this modal is scrollable, I might miss updates on the return policy, or I might miss important information about what I can do if my shipping is delayed. All this can be avoided through better design choices. So let's take a look at an alternative solution here. If I click on buy now, instead of a scrollable modal, we can use a pattern like a carousel. And that makes it very clear to the user that there are multiple pages of information within this modal. The carousel indicators down here tell me that there are four individual pages pages within this modal. Instead of not knowing that I can scroll down this modal, it's very clear that I can either use the arrow key here or I can just click on the modal indicators to jump to different parts of this modal. This is a much more effective pattern, right? And my users are much less likely to miss this key information when they're buying furniture from my website. Remember these tips the next time you think about using a scroll modal in your UI designs. Modals themselves can be very powerful tools in UI and UX design. We just have to keep in mind how best to use them, more importantly, how best not to use them. If you want more UX design tips and tutorials, make sure you subscribe to LotRocket.